Up next on Entertainment News, Sheisho Dimuhu's song Love Me Jaja remains a classic as far as love songs in Nigeria are concerned. Tells us how a remix of the song was created. That's on Spotlight. Do enjoy. Shei Shodimu is one of the pioneers of contemporary pop music in Nigeria, having spent about two decades working and producing songs. He made his name from Love Me Jeje, Love Me Tender, an Afro soul song which rose to critical acclaim and has remained one of Nigeria's classic love songs since it was released in 1997. Most great musicians use the real name from Bob Marley to Fela to Michael Jackson to Whitney Houston. I really don't like nicknames that much. Now, I came out with the first uh, single in 1997. Uh, funny enough, the first single is called Ayo, not Love Me Jeje. And it goes like, Shei, Shei, Shodimu, Wabami. That's like an introduction of my name to say, who is this guy singing this different kind of music? For me, it was a concerted effort to create a flow of English, Pidgin English and Yoruba, because that's the way Nigerians talk. We, we mix our English with Yoruba. And on the scene then, I really wanted to kind of create a genre, a style, the way we, to reflect our, our society. I think I was really successful with that, because after the first one, then Love Me Jeje came out, and then I had a tribute to Fela, subsequently when Fela passed in 1997 or 98. 98, I believe, I, I released that like a couple of months after. After that, I had another album called State of Mind, which had Money Man on it, and it had a couple of other singles. Um, I had another song, EP out in like 2004, 2000, no, 2007, that featured Wayne Wonder. Um, I, work, I did some work with Jen Wine. On the whole, a lot of my music has always been recorded in the U.S. primarily, and been released there, London, and then Nigeria as well. Nigeria still has my biggest fan base. Um, my most impact was made in Nigeria and Africa. For many years, Shodimu has been on and off the Nigerian music scene releasing very few works and generally barely making any appearance at events. Music has always been a journey and a lot of things happen and you have to change with it. Uh, music to me is always been something that I do naturally. And if I'm not doing music, I try and step back a little bit and do other stuff. I'm also a businessman, but if you don't see me in front of the camera, I'm also behind the camera doing other things, maybe songwriting, uh, maybe um, producing. And, and a lot of other stuff. Uh, for me, Nigeria is my biggest fan base and I still have a home in Washington. So I'm torn between, so I travel a lot, number one, number two, and that's part of, probably part of the reason why you don't see me as much as any other pioneer out there like a Daddy Shoki or, or Paul Dairo. But um, that being said, I think my music should make much more of an impact than me being physically on the scene. His absence is probably also motivated by the lack of structure in the fast growing industry. When I say there's no structure, I'm talking about royalties and then uh, real managers and A and R. We really still don't have an A and R for 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 artists. But as far as you know, the growth is purely because of the internet. You know, if you put a video on YouTube now, anybody can watch it. Sweden, U.S., Washington, and you get a lot of a lot of views on it. The same thing with Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. That has helped people reach music because a lot of Nigerians are in diaspora 
and they have friends who are not Nigerians, Ghanaians, you know, who want to, who want the same kind of music is universal. So that is the first thing where that has made Nigerian music grow, you know. And radio is, is, is not enough to, to grow your music. You need all the help you can get, and that's been happening. After all is said and done, home is where the heart is. Shei Shodimu is gradually working his way back into mainstream consciousness with a redefined sound as well as a remix of his hit track, Love Me Jeje. Love me Jeje, love me uh, last year I had a, a single called uh, Kwele Kwele, which is a remake of Ebony Zobe's song. I actually went to Abel Kuta and I, and I get, got permission to do that song. It was kind of like for me to test the market. And I see that there's still a, a kind of love for my kind of music, which I call grown and sexy adult contemporary, which we do not have in Nigeria, but you know, that's all going to change. Um, about a year ago, or about a year and a half ago, I kind of um, got kind of tricked into doing a remix with Love Me which I absolutely did not want to do. And on, on getting to the US, uh, K. Michelle, which is an American R&B artist, heard the song and loved it and absolutely wanted to do it. So I had no choice as a businessman, number one, and also a song that you, you do a song 15 years ago. That's the quality of the song is evergreen. No matter when you do it, it's still going to be a hit. So that's what we're working on. I think in the next couple of weeks, it should be out with a video uh, shot by Chesso in Atlanta. And um, it's really exciting times for me, actually, in music. <laughs> Right now, I'm working towards an album, um, but I know before the end of the year, an album should be coming out. Um, I don't have a name yet, I don't have, but I, at least I have an A&R and the direction that I'm going with it. I mentioned earlier about adult contemporary, grown and sexy. Um, I would, did Love Me JJ in my early 20s. I'm not 20s anymore, I have to reflect my age, and music is growth. And I'm not ashamed to say, it, uh, music is timeless. No matter what age you are, if you do good music, it's gonna be good. So. I was definitely working on an album, videos, and, and just just to, a nice package of music where it's, it's international standard. Because my music has always been international, but at this point in time, we have to do quality music so the rest of the world can appreciate it. News of the remix of the classic with American singer Kay Michelle has caused quite a buzz in the industry, giving Shodimu a chance to recapture the ears of music lovers in and outside the country. Mm -hmm. 